All right, find a nice comfortable seated position. If it feels all right on your hips, bring your knees wide and the soles of the feet together. Just let your hands rest on your knees. They could be palm down or palm up, whatever feels best. We'll start with a little bit of breathing. Take a deep breath in through your nose, and then you can let the breath out with a sigh. Again, inhaling and sigh it out. Two more rounds of breath, just like that. Continue breathing, but bring your attention to the pelvic floor, bringing that image to mind, the pelvic floor and the diaphragm moving with this resiliency. They both float down as you breathe in, and they both float up as you exhale. Breathing in, letting the pelvic floor lower and relax. Breathing out, letting it pull back up, just that submaximal contraction. If you think about your elevator, you're just riding up to the second story of the 10-story building. Two more breaths, feeling that pelvic floor Inhaling and exhaling. Bring your hands back to the knees and continue to feel that pelvic floor lift with every exhale. On your breath in, arms reach up overhead. Exhale, draw the palms together and down to the heart. Two more rounds of breath, just like that. And exhale. Once more, deep breath in, arms reach up, and exhale, let the arms float down. Bringing it into the shoulders a little bit more, reach the arms up as you breathe in. Exhale, open the elbows, find goal post arms. Inhaling, reaching overhead, and exhale to your goal post. Feel the shoulder blades glide up as the arms glide up. Let the shoulder blades glide down and back as you find goal posts once more. And goal posts arms. Reach your arms out to the sides. Let the shoulders round forward as you turn your palms back. Feel the collarbones widen as you turn the palms up. Letting that wrapping forward happen. You could even round through the ribs a bit. Open the heart as the palms turn up. Wrapping forward, little rounding of the rib cage. Open the palms to the sky, lift the heart, little bit of extension, two more rounds. Breathe in as you lift the chest, lift the palms, exhale, little round forward, and inhale, little lift of the chest. Find the middle ground with the rib cage. You're not lifted or rounded. You're going to turn your right palm up, left palm back, and then switch. So we're doing this opposing movement with each arm. You'll notice as the palm turning back happens, that shoulder rounds forward, the opposite thing happens on the opposite side. The arm lifts, palm lifts, shoulder wraps open. Do two more just like that. You'll also notice how the rib cage gets to twist a little bit. All right, that was maybe more than two more sets. Find the middle, let your arms float down. Inhale, reach your arms up. Bring your right hand to the mat, left arm reaches over, finding a side bend. Inhale, lift back up. And exhale, side bend to the other side. Inhale to lift. And exhale, side bend. One more to the other side, lifting up. Left hand down, right arm reaches. Come all the way up and hands pull down through heart center. You can bring your knees back together. Start to roll to one hip here. If you were seated on any blankets, feel free to set them off to the side. You could also take your blanket under your knees for extra support. Hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. With your inhale, let the belly drop, let the head and tail lift. 
As you exhale, curl under as much as feels available. Inhaling into a little bit of extension and exhale, flexing under. One more time, breathing in, let the belly drop. Breathing out, curving the spine as much as feels available. <clears throat> Find the middle ground. Feel the hands really pushing the floor away from you so you're connected in the shoulders, connected in the palms. And then just start to rock a little bit forward and back. You can go quickly, you can go really slow. You can even let the hips rock toward the floor as you come forward. Let the hips go as far toward the heels as feels available. And just try to vary the speed. Maybe even take a little bounce at one end of the movement or the other. And just finding a little mobility through the shoulders, through the hips. And keep breathing. From here, find the middle round. Reach your right hand forward like you were going to crawl. You're going to keep that hand forward. Look to the left. Then start sinking the hips back as much as feels available just to get a little rotation into the ribs, into the shoulder. You should feel a nice lat stretch on that right side. Come back up and sit back. Again, you could bounce a little bit at either end. You can start to let the hips come forward a little further as you reach forward and maybe sinking a little further back with your exhale. One more time on this side. And then switch hands. Left hand forward, again, like you're about to crawl. Turn your head to the right. Sit the hips back. And then bring the hips forward. You can make that movement as big on the way back and as big on the way forward as feels comfortable. You can take it nice and slow or you can speed it up a little bit. The fascia, the muscle tissue responds to varying speeds and variation in the movement quality. Take one more round forward and back, and then find the middle ground. I'm gonna turn to face you guys here. You can stay where you are at. Set the hips back toward the feet and come up to a low kneeling position. Again, feel free to pad the knees however feels comfortable. You're gonna lift your hips up and then sit them back down. Lifting up and sitting down. I know we've talked about this in class before, but you really wanna use your glutes and your hamstrings. So back of the hip, back of the thigh, on the push up, and then let those muscles help control the way down. All right, two more, just like that. Then you're gonna come up and hold it up. Arms reach up. You're gonna to tip to one side and let the opposite leg reach long. Top arm reaches up. If that feels like too much load on the shoulder, you could go hand to the forehead or hand to the hip. We're gonna take it into some outer hip and thigh work here. Lift the top leg and float it back down. Lift up, float down. Three more and two. Last one, float the leg down, bend the knee, come all the way up. Tip to the other side, stretch the leg out long. Lift up and float down. Of course, you've got your uh, uh, the alternative hand positions. Lift and lower, two more. And then bend the knee, make your way up and you can sit the hips back down. One more little exercise here. You're gonna take that padding under your seat again, if you prefer it. You could also do this without a blanket or a cushion. You're gonna take your feet out in front of you and bring them nice and wide. 
Hands are gonna come behind you. You get to lean back into the hands. We're gonna start just by dropping the knees to one side and then drop the knees to the other side. You can again take this at whatever pace feels appropriate in your body. You're just gonna let this rocking and rolling happen through the hips. You can even let the ribs and the shoulders start to get into it. You could add a reach of the arm as you twist. You could reach up overhead and back down. You could reach across the body and back around. You could even start to pull the torso toward the floor on that twist through. All right, take a couple more rounds just like that. And then coming back to center, walking the hands back up. Bring your toes together, heels together, and let your knees come wide. Bringing it back to our breath. Inhaling through your nose and sigh. Let the breath go. Visualizing the pelvic floor moving along with the diaphragm. Both float down on the breath in they float up on the breath out. Finding ease in that movement, ease in the breath. Take three more breaths, letting go of any extra thoughts, any extra tension. And when you're ready, you can move on with your day.